Hi and welcome back to another video in our GCC network setup series. Now on screen at the moment I've logged into the GCC by its web interface using the default IP address of 192.168.80.1 and what I've done is clicked on the network nodes icon at the top so here which is this symbol here and we're in the overview screen here at the left hand side now what I've done already is connected the Grandstream WP816 cordless Wi-Fi telephone to the Wi-Fi access point so it's the GWN7665 wireless access point as you can see here under top access devices and as you can see our WP816 is listed in our top clients so what I've done is clicked on this and then you can see we have the IP address here so what we're going to do is access the web control panel for our WP816 using this IP address here however this is the first time we're accessing it so there's a procedure to actually log in for the first time so what we need to do is open a new tab in our internet browser which is what I've done now and then I'll paste in the IP address for our WP816 so here it's 192.168.80.156 then what I'm doing is pressing enter and as you can see it's taken us to the welcome to WP816 now the first time you're logging in the username will be admin so after typing in admin you'll see we've got a random code pop up here now we've got 4 minutes 57 seconds to enter this so to do this what we need to do is use our Grandstream WP816 keypad so I'm pressing the green button on the keypad and then the hands free button and you will probably hear we've got a dial tone so what we need to do on the keypad is just type in star star seven nine star six nine five seven and then the pound or hash symbol and as you can see we've now got a admin password screen and it's got the current password in there so that's the default password so what we need to do is enter a new password so this is only has to be done once so what I'm going to do is create a password and once you've done that you can click modify now it's actually taken us into the WP816 and this is the control panel what's running inside of the WP816 cordless Wi-Fi telephone so you can actually set it up from a web browser rather than having to do everything on the phone keypad itself so we'll just take a quick look through the options at the left hand side so here we have Wi-Fi status so you can see the bandwidth the channel what it's connected to uh, GWN7665 access point with and we've got an IPv4 address system information here it tells you the model software version serial number and so on and IP geographic information system time and etc so what we'll do is click call status as you can see we've got nothing in there because we haven't actually made any calls then we've got call feature status so we've got two accounts account one and account two so you can actually have two voice over IP accounts on this Grandstream phone so for example you could have two voice over IP telephone providers each having their own account in there so what we can do is click on accounts and then accounts again and here is where you would set up the account which we set up in the GCC so we have to set it up in the GCC first and then once we've set it up in there we can then put the account details here in this phone to link the phone to the GCC so we won't go through all these tabs because uh, we'll go into detail in another video 
but what we can do is click phone settings and then general settings and we'll just have a quick look through so here we've got general settings port numbers and so on call settings just go to network settings wi-fi and so on so it's got the wi-fi settings in there bluetooth it's also compatible with bluetooth it has bluetooth in it open vpn support as well and then advanced settings so what we'll do is go down to programmable keys here you can program the number keypad to do speed dials if you so wish and things like that so we'll go down to system settings time and language so what we'll do is set the correct time and date so for the NTP server I like to use here in the UK 0.uk.pool.ntp.org and for the secondary we'll have 1.uk.pool.ntp.org and then for the time zone we'll select our correct time zone which is GMT for London Great Britain then for the date display format we'll change that to the day and then the month and then the year and then for the time display we'll change that to a 24 hour clock and click save and apply applied successfully as you see at the top there so that's changed the date and the time format so language we have that set as automatic so we'll leave that as it is input methods then we have security settings preferences so here you can actually set the ringtones, volumes and so on. So we'll change these a bit lower, just move them down a little bit. Then we'll click save and apply. Then we'll go down to maintenance, upgrade and provisioning. Here you can actually upgrade the software in the phone. You can upload a configuration file, provision it and so on. Then we have system diagnostics outbound notifications, voice monitoring, applications, contacts, call history and so on. These will be populated once we use the phone. So for example, call history and so on. So I think that's basically it for configuring the phones. What we'll do in the next video is link the WP816 Wi-Fi cordless telephone to our GCC box and control it in the GCC device. So we'll do that in the next video. So thanks for watching this video. Hope you're finding this series useful. Take care of yourself. Bye for now.